Greetings. I'm Mr. Pang Chun Hao, principal of Hua Chong Institution. I would like to share with you about the ethos of Hua Chong, and I will do so through the stories of our alumni and three aspects of Hua Chong Institution. Our mission is clear. Hua Chong Institution aims to nurture leaders in research, industry, and government. This is because every child that steps through the gates of Hua Chong should develop to be individuals who make a difference to society. And hence, here at Hua Chong, we aim to stretch their intellectual, leadership, and personal potentials. Mr. Tan Ying Lan is a good embodiment of Hua Chong's educational philosophy. In 2012, he was named one of the world's top global thinkers. He was the first Singaporean on the list. Ying Lan embodies two key traits about the Hua Chong student that we aim to nurture. Firstly, a Hua Chong education encompasses the best of the East and West. Inglan is able to bridge the gap between Singapore, India, and China, two fast-rising economic superpowers, to broker key deals for Singapore. Secondly, the Hua Chong gentleman possesses an entrepreneurial mindset that seeks to make a difference in the rapidly changing world of today. This can clearly be seen in England's career, where he's constantly breaking new grounds and contributing to society in new ways. Another example is Josh Lim. He was featured in the South China Morning Post in January this year. It's currently the head of his own Shanghai-based investment and advisory firm, IJK Capital Partners. Tellingly, he credits his success to his education in Hua Chong, where the focus on bilingualism, cultural heritage, and history have built a lasting passion and interest in entrepreneurship and cross-cultural ventures. In the 21st century, where the rise of Asian economies and interdisciplinarity take center stage, the value of a Hua Chong education cannot be overstated. This slide showcases the range of Hua Chong alumni who are currently leaders in government, serving our people at all fronts. They include Mr. Ng Chi Ming, Minister in the Prime Minister's Office and the current Secretary General of the National Trades Union Congress. Ms. Grace Wu, Minister for Culture, Community and Youth. Mr. Sam Tan, Minister of State for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Manpower. Ms. Sim An, Senior Minister of State for the Ministry of Communications and Information and the Ministry of Culture, Community and Youth. Mr. Ko Po Kun, Senior Minister of State for the Ministry of Trade and Industry. Mr. Chi Hong Tat, Senior Minister of State for the Ministry of Trade and Industry and the Ministry of Education. Mr. Bei Yam King, Senior Parliamentary Secretary for the Ministry of Transport and the Ministry of Culture, Community and Youth, and Dr. Tan Wu Ming, Senior Parliamentary Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Ministry of Trade and Industry. We are also very heartened that Singapore's national defence is currently overseen by Hua Chong alumni. The current Chief of Army, Chief of Navy and Chief of Air Force are all Hua Chong graduates. I will now proceed to share with you three defining characteristics of an education in Hua Chong. Firstly, a broad-based, passion-driven education. Every child that comes into the integrated program system is automatically a part of a six-year developmental framework. Now, this means that Hua Chong students skip the O-levels, enabling them the time and space to engage in research, collaboration, as well as, as, well as developing their leadership potentials before moving on to excel at the A-level examinations. This program is deliberately broad-based to allow students to explore their interests and develop their passion. Now, as they progress to the higher levels of our integrated program, the school will provide ample opportunities for them to specialize in their forte, while still allowing them to develop themselves holistically. You can see in this slide that 
There are special programs catering to all areas of talents throughout the six years of the Hua Chong education. And this cuts across the domains of the sciences, languages, and the arts. We also keep our curriculum updated and future-oriented, such as introducing the study of AI for all students in SEC 1 and SEC 2. Being one of the pioneer institutions to offer the Chinese language elective program at junior college level, we are also introducing the elective program at secondary three and four this year. Aside from many of our programs and opportunities, Hua Chong also organizes many key annual events that help to realize our mission of nurturing leaders in research, industry, and government. Here at Hua Chong, we believe in developing leaders in research through letting our students learn from the best. Each year, Hua Chong hosts Nobel laureates and few medalist winners of the international, at the International Science Youth Forum. Now, these top scientific minds share with our students what it means to engage in innovative research, the mindsets and values of scientists, and the social impact of their scientific endeavors. In 2019, in celebration of our centennial, Sir Tim Hunt, 2001 Nobel Prize winner in Physiology or Medicine, and Dr. Tomo Santola, 2018 Millennium Technology Prize winner, engaged the delegates of the International Science Youth Forum in the first edition of our Centennial Insights series. Now, the series featured local and international thought leaders exchanging their views on various topics spanning the sciences, humanities, and education here in Hua Chong. This entire series of talks and lectures was captured by a specially curated volume, the Centennial Conversations, which was launched by President Halima Yaakob. These endeavors ensure that Hua Chong remains at the forefront of educational leadership. Apart from bringing global minds to Hua Chong, our reach also extends far beyond our shores. Hua Chong has more than 100 partner schools and spreading across four continents. We also forge global alliances with esteemed global institutions and universities. And this ensures that there is no lack of opportunities for our students and staff to engage in cross-cultural, interdisciplinary research. Our second defining characteristic is a nurturing and supportive environment. The consortium system is something that you can only find in Hua Chong. Hua Chong adopts the consortium-based system in order to ensure the holistic development of each student. Now, how does the consortium system work? Well, each consortium functions as a mini-school, each helmed by a director of consortium and a dedicated group of teachers who mainly teach the students from the assigned consortium. Every student that steps into Hua Chong is automatically placed in one of the four consortiums and will remain in the same consortium for at least two years. This ensures that each student is well taken care of, both academically and effectively. Each consortium also caters to the development of diverse talents. For example, the ISPAC consortium caters to the needs of the school-based gifted education cohort, as well as for students in special programs including the Science and Math Talent program and the Humanities program. And on the other hand, the Authors Consortium houses our bicultural talents, including the Bicultural Studies program and the Chinese Language Elective program. The nurturing and supportive environment is further enhanced by caring and dedicated teachers who will go the extra mile to support each child's holistic development, as well as a strong sense of camaraderie and peer support amongst our students. A good example would be in Matthew's case. Despite the health and other unexpected difficulties that he faced during his time in Hua Chong, Matthew credits his success here at Hua Chong to his dedicated teachers and supportive peers. The consortium system where there is a dedicated team of teachers and a strong sense of peer identity and team spirit contributes to this ethos. Matthew overcame his difficulties and obtained a Prime Minister Book Prize in 2016. 
Finally, our third defining characteristic lies in a values-based education. Arturo is one of our president's scholars. Despite his humble background, he managed to excel and succeed in all his endeavors in Hua Chong. He credits his success to his mother and his teachers. A young man with a big heart, he aspires to pay it forward by helping people through his passion, medicine. Arturo graduated as the valedictorian from the NUS Medical School in 2019. A more recent example is Sheng Feng, a current Secondary 2 student. Now, in April this year, Sheng Feng participated in a Chess Against COVID initiative, where he challenged himself to play international chess concurrently against 12 other Singaporean junior chess players. He emerged victorious, and more importantly, managed to raise more than 30,000 for Lakeside Family Services. This embodies the spirit of the typical Hua Chong student for whom life is not defined by academic grades, but the quality of relations with others and a sense of community and support for one another. A final example would be Project Integrate. Here in Hua Chong, every student participates in annual project work that focuses on application of knowledge, entrepreneurial thinking and authentic learning. And students have a choice of doing service learning as a project category. This group of five secondary four students took on Project Integrate in 2019. The students organized weekly sports sessions with migrant workers. In addition, to enhance the understanding between migrant workers and Singaporeans, the team also organized National Day activities, carnivals, and free medical checkups. The project is in its fourth iteration. And in the past two iterations, Project Integrate has impacted more than 6,000 members of the public and our migrant friends. This quote by our alumnus, Minister Grace Fu, perfectly encapsulates what Hua Chong is about. We are a top school that has a soul, has values, has humility, and has the belief that all of us together are stronger than the sum of the individuals. With that, I sincerely welcome you to join the Hua Chong family as we continue to uphold our 100 year tradition in the constant pursuit of excellence and service. To all our P6 students, all the best for your upcoming PSLE, and I hope to see you with us next year. Thank you. <laughs>